everyone, Lolly here and welcome to my channel and welcome to part two of See You on the Flip Side. If you missed part one um, from last week, I found a really cute idea to do a composition book and to use both sides of the book. So you have one side and then you flip it over and you have another book on the other side. So we um, did the covers last week and so this week we're going to just add some tabs. So I thought I'd just make a short little series and we'd alter this um, book together. Now here I'm using a punch that is four tabs, but if you don't have that, you, so you can use, um, just cut out any shape that you want to use for your tabs. You can use stickers. Um, you can use anything you want to for a tab. So in this case, I'm going to try to put five on each side. And let me show you an example of tabs that I've used. Um, the cutouts that were in a paper pack, I used um, different colored papers that I just punched with the scalloped circle punch. I added just about any kind of little piece of paper I could in that particular um, composition book. So. Um, here I'm using this punch um, just because I haven't used it in a while and I thought I would make this book a little bit uh, neater but I'm just going through the papers that I used so this is what I'm calling the retro side and so I'm just cutting out tabs from the papers that I used on that side and then I want to do five of each and um, so we'll see if it fits because now we're going to do both sides. We'll see how it works out. So here, um, you know, the book is divided in half already. So now I'm trying to divide the papers up <laughs> into five different sections so I can tab them and still space it out um, evenly. So that's what I'm doing here. So if you have your tabs ready, then take the first half of your book and just start dividing it into the sections. You may not want your sections to all be equal. You may want one section small because you're not gonna put much in there. You may want a, one section larger because you're going to journal or put everything in that one particular section. So divide your sections out however many tabs you wanna use. You may just wanna use two or three and then um, just start to place your tabs on the edge of the papers. If you folded a piece of paper, you would just glue the edges of your paper down to um, whichever page you want to have it on. If you're using a sticker, you can fold the sticker in half um, and put that on the edge of your page. Tab ideas are just endless. You could use pieces of cloth, ribbon. There are a lot of um, ideas that you could use for tabs and I normally like to make them kind of messy and so um, I just pull out whatever I can get my hands on in this craft room and um, that I can cut up and make a tab so here I'm just trying to space them out evenly I've decided I'm going to use five <clears throat> so I'm just trying to make them as even as possible going down this side because when I flip the book over in the spaces in between these five I'll be putting tabs on the other side um, so that you can see all of the tabs from both sides. And again, if you're only going to use two or three, you can do the same idea. However you would like to get your book set up, I'm just showing you um, just for the idea. But again, if I put five here, when I flip the book over, I still want to see those five. But in between, I want to see the ones that I used for the vintage side of my book um, without them being hidden behind each other. So I left this in there just in case somebody needed to um, kind of work along there and see how to put the tabs in and how I'm spacing them. You know, just trying to get just exactly as close as I can 
you know, the spacing down. It doesn't have to be exact, but again, the idea is that I want to be able to put tabs in the empty spaces from the other side. And you can use white glue. I'm just using the hot glue just for time's sake. And here we go. So now we have the five tabs from the retro side. And when I flip it over, I'm going to put my tabs for the vintage side in the spaces in between those. And here we go. So what I've done there is put the tabs in between. And I only used, I think it's three or four on this side. And what I'm showing you there is that I love to take this tiny hole punch and I punch holes in about three, like every other tab, because I wanna hang something from there. And what I'm going to hang is bells. And I have some bulb pins that I'm going to um, put on the tabs. And I have these little bells. They're really cute, kind of old fashioned little, they're kind of flat, not like a Christmas bell, but um, they're silver. So I want to get my favorite uh, rub and buff out and uh, make them gold. So that's what I'm doing here. Can't really tell on camera that they changed, but they did go from a silvery chrome color to a pretty gold color. And so on the three tabs that I poked a hole in or punched a hole in, then I'm going to hang these from the bulb pins and then pin to those particular tabs. And I'm going to do it three different times. And I only um, painted two bells to begin with because I wasn't sure, but after I put them on there, then I decided I wanted to go ahead and do three. I have some eyelash trim here. I always love to tie that on the ends of my um, tabs just because it's frilly and kind of messy and I don't know, it just makes me happy. So I'm going to tie that and put that with my um, bell. How are your books coming along? If you're following along with me, are you doing okay? Are you getting the tabs on? I bet that you have come up with so many different ideas now that you're working on your book, what you're going to do with it. Now you're going to know what kind of tabs you want to put, how many you want to put. So I hope that it is all going well for you. Now, another thing I like to put on my tabs is a little bling. And so I have these sticky flat backs and I'm going to put um, this pretty blue on some of them and then I'm going to flip it over on the vintage side and I'm going to add just a few clear ones. And so I just like to put whatever I can on my tabs um, just to dress it up. But you can make yours as simple as you like to have them. You can also put like sticky letters like or month or the days depending on what you're going to do with your composition book and how you might want to label your tabs instead of embellishing them so but for me I'm just going to put some more bling <laughs> like I don't have enough going on already but I'm really enjoying this book I love to do composition books I have other videos if you want to go and watch them I've done some for Christmas I've done some kind of um 
in a mixed media kind of look and you saw the pink one earlier and so um, I have a teacher um, in South Texas that I do um, her planner books for her but we do them out of composition books each year for school so I really enjoy just taking a plain composition book and making it into something beautiful <clears throat> so so if the eyelash trim and the bling wasn't enough on a couple of the tabs I want to put these little butterflies and I think it looks so cute with them just sticking out over the top all right so this is my book this far Next week will be part three and we will do the inside. We'll put pockets and um, we'll put in some belly bands. I'm just going to do a few just for um, the video's sake and I'm not sure exactly what's going to go in mine, but I don't think I'll need a lot of pockets and things like that. But depending on what you're going to do with your composition book, you may want to put way more pockets than I did in mine, but I just want to give you the ideas. Okay, so this part here is where I'm adding the little clear flat backs to the vintage side. And I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I still want to go back and maybe add a few touches here and there, but um, for the sake of the video, I won't make you go through all that, but um, so yes, how are you doing? How is your book coming out? Are you happy with it? Um, did you like the idea? Did you have a good time with it? I hope so. And again, we will do next Wednesday, we will do the pockets and the belly bands and kind of embellish the inside. So get your extra pieces of paper ready, um, your stickers. Any of those fun things that you like to embellish your pockets and belly bands with. Your pieces of lace. All of those pieces of ephemera that you have that you want to embellish your pockets and your belly bands with. So, here we go guys. We did tabs today. I had a lot of fun and I really appreciate you being here with me. Again, get ready for next week and we will finish up. And, um... If you want to show me pictures at the end, you can come over to my Facebook page. The link is in my description or my Instagram link there also. If you want to show me as we're going along or you want to show me at the end. But I really appreciate you being here and making this fun project with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.